We've been seeing more and more questions about the recent release ME firmware update tool on MSI Intel 6 and 700 series motherboard. That means it's about time for Hamster to hold the MSI contact down. According to the internal source, MSI has split the BIOS and ME partition update to two different paths due to increasing requests from users to update ME only instead of the whole BIOS ROM. The process of ME firmware update is very simple. Just go to the BIOS download page to get the latest ME firmware update tool. Unzip it and run MSI ME firmware tool X. Update should complete within a couple minutes and it's very important to reboot the system afterwards. Press F7 to switch to advanced mode. Go to settings, system status, and under system information, you will see the exact ME version. Open device manager, expand system devices, and look for Intel management engine interface. Double click on it and go to firmware tab to find the ME version. Compare the ME version with the one you download from MSI website. If they are identical, it means you have just successfully updated the ME. You might worry if you can accidentally break the motherboard if you update the BIOS and ME in the wrong order. That's not going to happen. Update the one you like better first. Although, I personally recommend you to go from BIOS to ME because that's how MSI puts the files on product page. Let's have right. First of all, you will have to flash your current BIOS to any BIOS that includes the ME firmware tool on download page. Later, you can attempt to go to newer BIOS. It will bypass the ME flash and update BIOS partition only. Secondly, in certain BIOS with major updates such as a new generation CPU support, and flash will force the ME update whatsoever along with the BIOS. Let's go back to the reason why MSI decides to split BIOS and ME update. It seems a lot of users want to update ME only, not the BIOS file. But is it the right way to handle your computer? ME usually contains security patch, CPU, memory support, and if you are good with your current ME, most likely you should get along with the new ME well, unless it screw something up. So to answer the question, yes you can do that, but for me, I will still pair the latest BIOS with newest ME firmware. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!